Good afternoon, everybody. It's Friday. Um, later in the afternoon, I was uh, not able to do any Facebook Lives today earlier, so I thought I would go ahead and just do this as a recording and post it. It uh, was a busy day with just all kinds of things going. I know that some people um, find that they have perhaps too much time on their hands and they're trying to fill it. I have somewhat of the opposite problem that we um, are quite busy and I I'm not binge watching anything on Netflix, that's for sure. So, um, but I find this particular time of day to be extremely rejuvenative, so I have no complaints. Just uh, getting a little calm moment here with the tuxedo ducks. They're so funny. I'm just hanging out in the pond. They love it. All right, I'm going to scroll on over and um, head toward the goats. Let's see what they're up to. See how quiet it is? Yeah. Everybody's contentedly either relaxing or eating if there's anything left. It's not quite the uh, 6.30 feeding yet, so they're not as happy as they will be then, but I can see Nibbles and Jaina. Oh, Napoleon. Napoleon thinks I must be bringing food. Um, no, I, I'm still not bringing snacks, kiddos. Alrighty, Nibbles is just catching some late sunshine. I hope Christine gets a chance to say hi to the video. I know she misses coming and visiting. There we go. There's Billy. Hi, Billy. Where's your mom, baby? Yeah, I didn't bring any snacks. Billy is infinitely sweet. There's Napoleon and Marky. I can't quite reach you to scratch, kiddo. Everybody else, all the silkies are up on the hill there. And Bud, too. Bud is actually relaxing with them, which is really nice to see, of course. You know, anytime one of these guys comes in and is new, it takes a little bit of time. Hi, buddy. Hi, Napoleon. Yeah, it's a good boy. You can't eat, actually eat my fingers. I know that you want to. <laughs> There's Misty. Missy wants to make sure she's not missing out. Oh gosh, sorry guys, I didn't mean to make you all get up. Oh, hi honey. I know. Best nose ever. Best nose ever. Yeah, it's a good boy. Yeah, such a good baby. Love you. Hi. Yeah, you can't reach, honey. All right, let me go see if Maxine's around the corner. I bet she is. There she is. How's our elegant lady? And Sean and Lila. There's Charlotte. And yes. Star wants you to know that she misses each and every single one of you. Hi, Marky. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Okay, there's a little bit too much redecorating there, buddy. Okay? I know you weigh a ton, but... Ah, yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. You're so funny. Star has, has several complaints for the management. One, of course, is usually that the food isn't present. And I have to tell you, girl, that there's just not going to be any food for a little while. Not until 6.30. I know she misses her best friend, Grace. We are still carefully considering who might actually be a companion for her. Um, you know, we, we wanted to make it a good decision. She has some very specific eating needs in terms of how much she can eat. She can't really be with somebody who, like the ponies over there, can just do free feeding. So we just need to be careful. The ladies look like they're enjoying 
their afternoon too. Hi Amber. Hi Brandy. It's the perfect temperature out here. I like it a little cooler than perhaps other people do. So, wow. Boy, everybody, I, I didn't come over here this morning. It's quite, quite organized. We uh, finished our project, so hi Squat. Hi Darby. Oh, there's Blaze. Blaze and Margaret. Given the uh, curtain, current pandemic situation, it's increasingly likely that uh, Blaze and Margaret, and, and by the way, Blaze is like BFF, uh, total best friends with Squirt over here. So this is, this is not a bad thing. Hey baby, how you doing? Hi, hi, hello. He's got the cutest, silliest underbite. Hi guys, how's my boys? Good boys. All right, let's go see what everybody else is doing because I know you guys didn't get a chance to see any of these guys this week. Hello, Kathleen. You're the best rooster ever. Hello, Audrey. Okay, so here is the project. We spent all week on this one. Oh, by the way, Elliot got brushed today. Can you see? Oh, all of his winter mud is off. Hi, baby. Look at you. You look gorgeous. Okay, don't don't let Dudley know because Dudley's going to be very, very jealous. Yeah. Hi. Hi, handsome. Whew. You look very spiffy. Tyla was extremely busy with him. It looks like, um, actually, I'm going to have to say, it looks like she did Audrey, too. This is so awesome. I totally wish that... Um, that was possible for Pal, but it's not going to be. He's not quite that way. Hi, Brandy. Hey, guys. Hi, Jules. Hi, Millie. Oh, sweetie over there. I'm going to have to go over because I know that many of you really miss Bob and Wallace. So, anyway, uh, by the way, so this project was inserting drains to allow for better water flow and uh, as part of that project it's all sorts of new stone dust tamped down we got a nice working mud free surface I can't begin to express how exciting that is there's my little guy I caught them on the cameras the other day um, we can look back on our little webcams for you know about four hours and uh, these two were actually kicking the ball back and forth with each other. See the uh, the ball off in the distance. Hello, Nose. Hello, I love you. Hello, Mr. Freckles. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Okay. I'm not edible. Here we go. Really? Really, kiddo? That's a male guinea, and I'm going to go deaf now. Hi, baby. adorable horn. It's so small. Yes, I know. Hi, Bob. Mr. Bob. Bob Crockett. Love you both. I love you both very much. There's a lot of people who really, 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 I had one more really in there, want to visit you again. And we will as soon as it's possible. Uh, it's, it's something that we take very seriously here, and hopefully you do too. Our um, personal mail carrier um, was diagnosed with COVID-19. So um, luckily, as soon as that particular mail carrier knew that symptoms were arising, they self-quarantined immediately, so minimizing the risks to uh, the rest of the post office and the community. So these things are really critical, and, and we need to support those people by staying home as best we can, really uh, being uh, as helpful as possible. We try to share out our supplies to first responders and people who really have to get out there and um, have an impact whether you're delivering mail or food or other things helping 
I've uh, got a lot of people in our community who are sewing masks, which is amazing. Um, I've seen there's a group here in Natick and uh, elsewhere to um, do that. Uh, so surgical caps. Um, they're ready to make surgical gowns if necessary. So um, everything's ramping up. I managed to obtain some elastic, the quarter inch elastic needed for the masks. Some people are using bias tape instead. Uh, anyway, I obtained it and managed to donate it back out to the groups that are sewing as much as possible. Uh, another thing that came up today, ER nurses or ICU nurses more specifically are looking for used um, no longer needed baby monitor. So in your community, if you want to reach out to the nurses at your local hospital without bothering them, mind you, um, there's got to be a way to reach them. Apparently, it's hard to hear the um, various bells and whistles in the ICUs behind some of the security walls. So anyway, baby monitors are helping them. We here are continuing to stay on uh, lockdown so that um, the people who come in and out of the sanctuary building are just our core staff which works out very well and we also uh, have a variety of disinfecting supplies make sure that we stay healthy because we need to stay healthy to provide the care that everybody here needs. Especially you, Marky. Yep. Especially you. <laughs> I don't know what the girls are doing over there, but whatever it is, I hope you're having fun. Up oh, there's Lila. See, those are girls playing over there, by the way, the, the little head budding. They, they're very playful. Hi, bud. You're shedding, buddy. You are. Look at that. Somebody needs to be brushed. You need to be brushed. I love you. Yeah. But he says hi to Jackson. He loves him and misses him. Good boy. Alrighty. Anyway, so we're we're oh, hello. Hello, hello. We're doing our best to stay healthy. Um, I've posted about this before, but um, the amazing Jennifer Vickery up at Tom Ten Farm and Sanctuary, which is where our Audrey Heffer and Elliot Steer uh, came from. Um, she is the uh, lockdown caretaker for them and she has a backup plan for a replacement caretaker should she become ill or incapacitated in any way. We have similar plans here for everybody to um, make sure that we do the best we can for everybody because these guys rely on us. They can't really go and uh, you know go grocery shopping and or even get grocery delivery and uh, do a lot of their own food prep. So they rely on us. They definitely rely on us to bring them fresh water. So we don't want to uh, let them down in any way. I'm hoping that you all had the best week possible and that you figured out things in your life that will allow you to find some peace and some um, centered moments where you're not too um, worried about things. I'm, I always recommend just little glimpses in social media, um, you know, just a little bit, not too much. Uh, stay off the news channels. I uh, check in in the morning and I check in um, later in the day, but not right before bed. That's not a good time either. You want to be able to sleep and uh, get plenty of rest to stay healthy. These guys, although I woke them up when I came over here, actually know the value of getting plenty of sleep. So I'm hoping that you follow their um, mantra of plenty of rest, good snacks, and uh, lots of petting and grooming. And uh, so they don't have to practice the physical distancing that we do, but um, they, uh, do form their social groups and so do we even if we can't do it so call someone you love via the phone or connect with them on Skype, FaceTime, Zoom, however you do it 
and stay in touch with those you care about. All right. I'm going to sign off now and I'm going to do my very best to try for an actual Facebook Live in the morning. And uh, until then, have a great evening. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.